During the interwar period, a group of people in Vienna was driven by the spirit of modernity, creating one of the most influential philosophy discussion groups from the last century. The Vienna Circle. The group met regularly at the University of Vienna. Building up to the 650th anniversary of the university, for two years historical and intimate documents were collected and analyzed. These include personal notes, news articles, personal belongings, photos, curious objects, book publications, film documentaries, and other historical documents. Afterwards, the information was transformed into an exhibition, which gives us a tour through the ideas, feelings, influences and discussion topics of the circle. The exhibition is accompanied with three publications about the Vienna Circle. The revolutionary logic, physics and mathematics at the time inspired their empirical conception of the world. Its members belonged to multidisciplinary areas of knowledge. A representation of Boltzmann's gas model built by the University of Graz is one of the curious objects that accompany the exhibition. Their vibrant mathematical and philosophical discussions enhanced and improved the new symbolic logic. They also tried to implement mathematics in the national Austrian economy. Otto Neurath, one of the members of the circle, wanted to explain and represent socio-economical facts pictorially. He proposed a picture language to visualize facts and statistics, founding the isotype method and the principles of infographics. The circle influenced their contemporaries around the world on the trending topics at the time. What qualifies as a science? Is it possible to have a unified science? How can we identify the relationship between language and society? Between language and reality? The circle was in touch with the cultural life of Austria, in particular with the Viennese intellectual circle and the social democrats providing social housing for the high amount of homeless people after the First World War was one of their main concerns. Due to the rise of fascism in Austria, followed by the annexation of Austria to Nazi Germany, the activities of the circle were forced to stop. Almost all of the members had to abandon the country and live in exile. Despite that the circle never succeeded to reappear, it had made such an impact in the hearts of the ones that joined it that they kept spreading their ideas to the rest of the world, protecting its meaning and its beat through space and time.
To continue the development of the Vienna Circle's intellectual heritage, the Institute Vienna Circle was founded in 1991. Since 2011, it became a subunit of the Faculty of Philosophy and Education at the University of Vienna. Thank <laughs> you.